say, kids, what time is it? And boys and girls here in Dutyville, kids in Boston, and all over the United States, let's go! Hey, Well, you know, gang, Mr. Busty's big announcement must be getting closer and closer. Because look who's just arriving in the clubhouse. It's none other than Mr. Busty's big assistant, Dolly Dolly. Even though you've been helping Mr. Buster in the big television back. Sure we are. All right you are, Dilly. Oh, I say, yeah. uh, I want you to tell me something, Dilly. Okay. Dilly, do you by any chance know what the uh, big announcement is all about that Buster's going to make? Oh. Huh? Do you, Dilly? Huh? Do you? Come on, tell us. Yeah, I do. You I do? do? <laughs> yeah, well, tell us, Dilly. I... Oh, have to be quiet. Yeah, quiet. Oh, you do, huh? Well, oh, well, Dilly, I'm almost afraid to ask, but is it really good or is it a trick? Come on, tell us, will you please, Dilly? Tell us, tell us, tell us, Dilly, tell us, tell us. Then it be telling. You mean you're not going to tell us, Dilly, Dilly? No. All right, if I tickle you, you'll tell me. Oh, if you do, I will. How about it, how about it? What do you say, Dilly? Oh, gosh, princess, don't do that. Boy, oh boy, you know what happens to Dilly if anyone tickles him. Yeah. Oh, gosh, if he gets a giggle for it. Giggle for it. Boy, you'll yeah. be no good for Jay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess Howdy's right, Princess. After all, no. we don't want any giggle princess today. No, no, not today. Because you know what might happen. Mr. Buster might get sore. Uh, right? Yeah. And kids, you know as well as I do that if if Phineas T. Bluster would ever get mad, he might... You might hold back and not make that big announcement. We don't want that to happen, do we, kids? No. no, because after all, we'll say the announcement must be an important announcement, and we like to hear important announcements, don't we, kids? Yeah. Sure we do. You kids are right. I was only teasing Dilly. I'm yeah. sorry. Well, it was a good try, Princess. That's perfectly all right. Yeah. But it just didn't work this time. You know, if only this isn't another bluster trick. Well, it better not be, kids. I hope that Mr. Bluster is going to make some kind of a good announcement. Mm. I just, I just, excuse me. I just had so much of Phineas, Phineas T. Bluster in the party kids right here. I just had so... Phineas T. Bluster is coming out of here. Now, Clarabelle, what's the matter with you? Billy. Now, we're worried about something. That's right. Now, Mr. Bluster is, is going to make an announcement and... And you tickle me with a feather. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. You silly clown. Here, take this. Princess, hold this for Clarabelle, will you please? Clarabelle, aren't you worried about Mr. Bluster's announcement? No, he's just a silly clown. Forget oh, about it. Oh, clowns don't worry about anything. That's right. All he ever worries about me is what trick he's going to pull on me next. Now, forget about it. Oh, look, Bob, you know, Bob, look. What? Clarabelle is sorry. Can he ever have his feather back? Oh, you should give him his feather back so he can take it and tickle me all over again, huh? Oh, he won't, Buffalo Bob. Clarabelle won't tickle Buffalo Bob with a feather, will you, Clarabelle? No, he says he promised. Oh, well, now, is this a Clarabelle promise or a real promise? Real promise? What is it? All right, a real one. All right, then give him the feather back, you silly clown. Here. Now, kids, as I was saying... Now, sit down. Now, don't tickle me with that feather. That's right. Now, kids, as I was saying, we're going to have to watch Mr. Bluster carefully. <coughs> He said on Friday that he had a very important announcement to make. That's right. And we were all going to be anxious to see and hear. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Didn't you promise me that you wouldn't tickle me with that feather? 
Oh, you clown. Oh, wait a minute, Buffalo Bob. Clarabelle tricked you. You see, he didn't tickle you with a feather. He tickled you with a feather duster, so he really didn't break his promise. Oh, all right. So I said feather. No. <laughs> Put it away. Go away. Oh, that's so silly. Now, kids, I have got to find out again. Hey, you silly clown. Why don't you stop your foolishness? You can't tickle me. Why, I'm such a woolly bow-wow, I'm tickle-proof. Now put down that feather duster, Clarabelle, and, and let me go to sleep. Oh, Wendy's got more brains than you have. That's right, Buffalo Bob. Oh, Thanks. I don't know. What are we going to do with that clown, kids? Ooh. That clown. Ooh. What was that, Francis? I don't know. Oh, boy, hang on, everybody, because the big moment is here. Yeah, howdy. Mr. Buster just rode up in a taxi cab. A, ta a taxi cab? Say, kids, if Mr. Buster rode up in a taxi cab, this must be a, a sensational announcement. <laughs> You know, Mr. Bluster rides in cabs only when there are real super-duper occasions. Ah, wait, listen, everybody, listen. How much do I owe you, driver? Twelve pennies. Twelve pennies. The fare is twelve pennies? Outrageous. Absolutely preposterous. What? Quiet. Don't you argue with me, young man. I'm old enough to How be you your grandpa. Where'd he go? Where's Mr. Bluster? Uh, Twelve pennies, you say? Uh, you have a change for nickel, young man? Oh, you do? Oh, good. Oh, boy, gang, here he comes. Well, where is he? Over here, poopsie. What? Oopsies. You, over here. Oh, hello, kitties. Well, where? Where? Oh, where? Look. Hey, there we That's are. right. This announcement is so important, I couldn't wait to come inside the clubhouse. Yeah, I know. All right, let's 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 hear the announcement, Mr. Bluster. We're all very anxious to have you here. I say it. All right, friends. Go say. Here it is. Clubhouse, kids in the peanut gallery, and kids all over America in the ships at sea. As you all know, I have been conducting a rather successful, if I do say so myself, a television battle with Howdy Doody and all his friends. I, I have had some trying days, as I'm sure you have had also. But now, now I'm tired. And I realize that life is too short to go through holding a grudge. <laughs> well, what I'm trying to say is that the friendly old Phineas wants to be friends with everyone. <clears throat> In closing, let me say, I'm Fowdy Doody. Are you? Yes, I am. Mr. Buster. Oh, no, oh boy, oh boy, we're all so glad that you're our pal again. Right, Buffalo Bob? Ah, you're right, Howdy. Well, kids, <laughs> the sensational announcement is over. And evidently, Mr. Bluster wants to be friends with everyone, so I say, 
Three cheers for Mr. Bluster! Mr. Buster, aren't you, kids? Yeah! So am I. So how about an old-time movie, gang? What do you say? Yeah! Okay, and it's old-time movie time on the Howdy Doody Show. Well, kids, we got a good one for you today. Yes, sir, a movie with our old pal, Charlie Chase. Now, Charlie Chase, he's uh, having his hat cleaned. And Charlie... Gives the man a quarter. The man cleans it with some gasoline. Charlie lights a cigarette, throws the match up in the air. It lands on the hat, and uh-oh, Charlie's hat's on fire. He said, ooh, never was so warm in my life. So he says to the fellow, say, pardon me. He says, oh, my hat, uh-oh. So Charlie feels naturally very bad. His best hat is gone. So Charlie goes over to the man there that sold the hat. That's Clary Vise. You remember Clary, don't you, from our old-time movies? Sure you do. So Charlie goes over to Clary. Clary knows all about hats. He says, well, take this one. Uh-oh. Charlie says, no, very good and very bad. So Clary says, wait a minute. Try this. Try this derby. And Charlie says, well... No, he says, that's too small. He says, come on, Clary, give me a good hat, will you please? So Charlie puts it on, he says, that's fine, there you are. Thank you, Clary. Clary says, ooh, look at the bad hat that I get back for it. So Charlie goes back to his shoe shine. Clary Vise is out a nice hat. Now here are two sisters, Faith and Hope. One is named Hope, the other is named Faith. Now, the younger one is Faith, that's Faith in the car. The older one is Hope. Now, Faith is in the car, and it's one of those, uh, all those convertibles. Starting to rain, and Faith is out there with the umbrella, and Charlie says, say, I must help that girl. And she's such a very, very lovely girl. Charlie says, wait, I'll be very, very happy to have you, uh, have you just wait till I finish my shoe shine and then I'll help you with the top on the car. So Faith says, well, Charlie, you're a very, very nice fellow here for helping me. So, oops, one of those one-man tops. Now, here is Faith's older sister, Hope. And Hope, Hope is a very lovely girl. She's, uh, she's played by, by Shirley Miller. Do you remember? Remember? Sure you do. This is Faith. Now, Faith is played by, by Sherry Miller. You remember Sherry? You remember the Miller girls? Shirley and Sherry? So Charlie says, well, here, maybe you'd like one of my business cards. He says, incidentally, I'd, I'd like your card, if you may. I'd like to call you sometime. So she didn't have one of her own cards. Instead, she gave Charlie a card from her sister. The card said Hope, because that's the older sister's name. So Charlie says, oh, that Faith is a lovely girl. Charlie's there up to his knees in water, didn't realize it. So Charlie has to go to work the next day. All poor Charlie can think about is that lovely, lovely girl. 
Miller sisters, such lovely girls. See, Charlie's in the business of selling houses, and he can just imagine he and lovely Sherry Miller, played, of course, by Sherry. Her name is Faith in this movie. In that house. In the meantime, the boss is going with the older sister, Hope. Well, the boss has been fuzzing Charlie here for quite a while. Charlie just doesn't answer the ring. Uh-oh. He says, what are you doing? Throw that pipe out. Oops. Charlie throws the pipe right out through the window. He says, come in here. I have to talk to you. And he says, what do you have in your... Uh-oh. Oh, dear, that Charlie. So Charlie says, boss, he says, I have to have a raise. And the boss says, what do you mean you need a raise? I, you're fired. Go home. So now Charlie lost his job, hopes that his girlfriend will still be nice to him. So the boss says, wait a minute, Charlie, come back here. He says, why do you want to raise? Charlie says, well, I want to raise because I want to buy a new suit. I want to get married. So because the boss also has a lovely girlfriend, he says, well, all right, I'll give you the raise. Charlie sits down on all the buzzers and all the different secretaries come in the office. Well, Charlie gets his raise. Charlie buys a new suit, and Charlie is going to marry the younger sister, Faith. But now, don't forget, when Faith gave Charlie her card, she didn't have one of her own cards. She had a card from her older sister. So now the boss says, uh, whom are you marrying? And uh-oh, Charlie gives the card, and it says, Hope. So the boss says, wait a minute. That's my girlfriend. I want to marry her. So here is Faith. And Charlie's about to meet Faith. So Charlie slams the door there to pretend that he's coming out of a limousine. And Charlie and Faith are on their way to the church to be married. And they look so cute together that everyone in the street gathers around and watches them. with Hope, you're with Hope's younger sister, Faith. Charlie says, why, certainly. In the meantime, here comes Hope, and Hope sees the boss speaking up to Faith. So Hope gets mad and hits the boss over the head and chases him down the street. Charlie says, no, wait a minute. He says, no, wait a minute. He said, look, he says, Faith is my girlfriend. Hope is the boss's girlfriend. So the boss says, look, I want no parts of this. He didn't. But Charlie and Faith were married and lived happily ever after. Well, kids, that's the end of our old-time movie for today. And say, boys and girls, we would like to have a big salute here from the Howdy Doody gang. I have a telegram that says, beginning our fifth year of service today to Harrisburg, York, Reading, Lebanon, and Lancaster areas. WGAL TV Channel 8. So we say hi to everybody down there in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Good luck, kids. We hope you'll be seeing the Howdy Doody show for years down there, Channel 8. Well, you know... Say, kids, I wonder why Clarabella is honking his horn. Pineapple, lemon, strawberry, and cherry. How many, Clarabelle? No, 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 not six, Clarabelle. Now count them again. Come on. Raspberry, orange, lime, pineapple, lemon, strawberry, and cherry. How many? Had a boy, Clarabelle. Seven. 
There are seven fresh ripe fruits. One for each of the royal gelatin dessert flavors. And look, Howdy, I've got three dishes of cool, shimmering royal gelatin dessert right here. One for Howdy, one for Clarabelle, and one for me. And this nice cherry-flavored one for Clarabelle because it's the same color as his nose. Ah, yes, sir, and don't they look wonderful, boys and girls, and say kids. Do you know why royal gelatin desserts are such a big, big favorite with everyone here in Dutyville? Well, you know, they're the only gelatin desserts that taste just like fresh, ripe fruit. So, kids, when Mom asks you what kind of dessert you'd like, you say, Royal Gelatin. Come on, spell it out with me, kids. R-O-Y-A-L. Royal Gelatin Dessert. And then Mom and Dad and the whole family will enjoy cool, shimmering Royal Gelatin Desserts and salads. <laughs> Well, you know, boys. Uncle Bob, Uncle Bob! Miss Princess, what's wrong? My magic necklace, it's gone! Your what? My Tinka Tonka magic necklace, it's gone! It disappeared completely! I've looked everywhere and I can't find it! Are you sure? Oh, yes, I'm positive. I had it on this morning, and I had it on when Mr. Bluster... Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you thinking what I'm thinking you're thinking? I'm thinking that you're thinking what you think I'm thinking. Oh, no. He wouldn't. Well, he's our friend. He, he said so himself. You heard him, didn't you, kids? Yeah! Unless... It's all part... Of a huge plot... To pretend to be on our side. And then pull some big trick on us. Oh, no. No, he wouldn't do anything like that. You're right, Buffalo Bob. I guess he wouldn't. No. But, you know, kids, we have had a lot of trouble with him. He has pulled an awful lot of tricks on us. Kids, this might be the beginning of another trick. Yet he may not have had anything to do with it, Buffalo Bob. Well, we'll just have to keep our eye on him, kids. We'll have to watch him to see if he's planning some kind of a trick. Buffalo Bob. Yes, Princess? You don't think that... Clarabelle? <coughs> oh, I don't... Now, what's wrong with you, you silly clown? Clarabelle, have you been playing tricks on me? Clarabelle, you didn't by any remote chance take the princess's magic power necklace, did you? It's mysteriously disappeared, Clarabelle. Yes, it has, Clarabelle, and we're going to have to start, I think, right away. What's the matter, Buffalo Bob? Princess, I'm afraid to look. But I think my Buffalo Bob belt is... Missing? Well, Goopa, your buffalo belt is missing. Kids, first the necklace, second the buffalo bob belt. What'll be third? Clarabelle, do you know? You know? Clarabelle? Clarabelle? Clar do you know? Do you know? Kids, something mighty strange is going on around here. The princess's necklace is missing and my... My buffalo belt is missing and I... Buffalo Bob, I don't like to suspect anyone without just cause, but do you think that maybe Clarabelle and Bluster... You mean, are they in this whole thing together? And that Mr. Bluster's speech was only a trick? You mean he's only pretending to be our friend when he's... He's really going to trick us in some way? And have Clarabelle help him? Oh, no, I don't think so, Princess. I can't believe it. I don't either, Buffalo Bob, so that makes it even more mysterious. Yeah. Oh, gee. Kids, this is strange. From out of the blue, the Princess's necklace is missing. Then my Buffalo Bob belt is missing. You know, boys and girls, I don't know what to think. Princess. Oh, well, Gooba Buffalo Bob, I certainly hope I find my necklace before the big Tinka Tonka chiefs hear about it being missing. Well, you're right. Yeah. Do you realize what could happen if... if all the heads in your Tinka Tonka tribe found out that your necklace was missing? I realize, Buffalo Bob. Well, kids, this is the only magic power necklace in the whole world. The it only one. 
Princess, wait a minute. What is that? Kids. Look here. The necklace. It is. Call a goof of my magic cake of top of necklace, Buffalo Bob. Yeah, and look. There's a rope attached to the necklace. A rope. Buffalo Bob, a rope that disappears inside the panel door. Open it up. What's this? Kids, at the end of the rope is this painting. Hey, Kawagoopa, a painting of a magician rabbit with my magic power necklace around its neck. Yeah. And Buffalo Bob, what's that on the bottom? It well, looks like a tower. A princess, it is a tower. Kids, that's a picture of the Eiffel Tower, the same Eiffel Tower that's in Paris, France. I don't know. Kids, what do... What do Mr. Bluster and Clarabelle know about this? Kids. I don't get this. Oh, Buffalo Bob! Oh, yes, Princess. I want you to play this new guessing game with us, Buffalo Bob. Yeah? Now, Clarabelle will blindfold you, and then I'll put one of these fresh, ripe fruits in your hand. Yeah? And for each fruit that you guess, you win a dish of royal gelatin dessert. All right, now, fine. Now, here's the first one. Ready? All right, see if I can guess. Well, that's too big to be a lemon. Uh, an orange. All right, Buffalo Bob. Yeah? And you win a dish of royal orange-flavored gelatin. Ah, good, now, good, good. Are you ready good. for the next one? Yep, yep, yep. All right, now, what's this? Uh, it's too round to be strawberries. Uh, uh, cherry. Oh, isn't that wonderful, Clarabelle? And Buffalo Bob, here's your second dish, Buffalo Bob. Royal cherry-flavored gelatin. Oh, yes, sir. And kids, don't they look swell. And I know they taste swell, too. Because you know, boys and girls, royal gelatin desserts are the only gelatin desserts that taste just like fresh, ripe fruit. So, boys and girls, when Mom asks you what kind of dessert you'd like, you say Royal Gelatin. Come on, spell it right out, kids. R-O-Y-A-L. Royal Gelatin Dessert. And say, kids, when Mom goes to the store to buy Royal Gelatin Dessert, you tell her to pick up a couple of packages of Royal Lemon Pie Filling. You know, all the flavor in Royal Lemon Pie Filling comes from real lemons. And what a pie. Well, kids, boy, oh boy, we sure had a lot happen here today. First, we heard Mr. Bluster make the sensational announcement that he wants to be our friend. But then, the princess's magic necklace disappeared. And after that, Buffalo Bob's Buffalo Belt. Oh, gosh. Hey, you're right, Howie. And kids, after we found the necklace, with this mysterious picture attached to it. The mysterious picture of the Eiffel Tower painted on the bottom. But kids, my, my buffalo belt is still missing. Wonder who took it. Where is it? Will I find it? And if I do find it, will I get a mysterious painting also? Hey. Mr. Bluster, the man behind this? <laughs>